This looks like a pretty unusual setup, but we're gonna try something a bit different for this video. We went out and bought a bottle of dishwashing liquid and it's colored. And if you take the labels off, you can see through the bottle, give it a shake, and add loads and loads of air bubbles inside this fluid. The empty tube of kitchen roll is a bit out, out of place, but that's really just so I can balance this on top and backlight it. If I put it down here, you see that the light I'm planning on using doesn't start until three or four inches up. So I wanna make this a bit higher. And I can also use this depending on what part of the bottle I'm going to be shooting. Let's start off with the light and see if we can come up with some cool colors. I think blue and green is quite good. We'll take the tube of kitchen roll. Before we do that, I'm just gonna give this a good shake. And for these photos, I'm gonna try and go handheld with just my regular macro lens on my standard camera and get up and close to this. Now the light source here doesn't need to come from a flash because I'm using a backlight. I have video lights on as well. They might have to go off, we'll see in just a moment. So I haven't taken any photos yet, but I'm starting on, let's say, probably 5.6, ISO 800, and let's do 100, 100th of a second, just because it's a 100 millimeter lens and I'm gonna be shaking just a little bit. I'm also gonna put it onto continuous shooting mode. This is going to allow me to take multiple photos at once. I'm doing high speed continuous, which I find to be really beneficial when I'm taking photos that are likely to have some motion blur. Any of that blur, usually if you shoot three, four, five images, you'll get one photo in there that's gonna be sharp. So if you are going to expect some motion blur, try using high speed continuous as well. I think this shoots about six frames per second. I forget the exact number. And we'll just get nice and close to start and see what we can get. So right now I can say that I think the light source isn't strong enough for this photo because I'm shooting 5.6. Maybe I'll bring this down to 2.8 and the ISO up to 1600. It's a little bit too bright now, just the aperture to 4.5. And there's a pretty cool exposure. We get lots and lots of bubbles in here. So I'm happy with the color, I'm happy with the exposure. I might actually change the color, see if there's something else we can get in here. Maybe we make it purple, that's pretty cool. I've taken a range of photos with this lens and camera so far, but I'm interested to see what it's gonna be like if I can get a little bit closer. These bubbles are quite small, and the depth of field is so shallow that you can focus on just about any of the bubbles in here. There's probably dozens and dozens and dozens of rows of bubbles. So instead, I'm gonna switch over now to Another setup I like to use, which is the cheap 1000D with the reversed 18 to 55 millimeter lens. The focal length is set to 55 millimeters, and I'm gonna take this flash and I'm just gonna use it to light underneath the bottle. I'm still gonna keep this color in the background, although I may change the color. Let's make it fully red. And what I wanna do is I wanna try and see that red through the bottle with some bubbles in the foreground and a flash underneath to help illuminate it. And I'm really just making this up as I go along. I just wanna show you that you can take anything, pretty much, and come up with a cool macro photo. Lots of moving bubbles, there's some big ones in there now. The trick is to try and get this air into the liquid, because then you're gonna have larger bubbles, or more of them at least. You've got a really good shake. Then I'm gonna take my camera here, and get really close. Wow, and now I'm starting to see some really amazing bubbles, literally thousands on just this screen here. And that's by shaking the bottle and putting the flash underneath. What we don't have is a direct light onto the plastic surface of this bottle, which is great, but we do have the bubbles illuminated from below, and that's looking really cool. I'm not getting much of the red behind, but that's not important. That's just part of the experimentation process. I'm shooting at 5.6 here, which is the aperture when the lens is zoomed to 55 millimeters. 
one sixty for a second and ISO 200, and I'm getting some really well exposed photos. Now it's just a case of experimenting with composition, shaking the bubbles a bit more, seeing if I can get some of the light in from the side and seeing what I can come up with. I like shooting in portrait for this. Wow. And we'll do one more big shake. And there we have it. I have to say I'm pretty pleased with how these photos have come out. I like the experimentation process of shooting macro. You can see how I started this video. I'd never shot a bottle of washing up liquid before, but the experimentation process meant using two different cameras, two different light sources, experimenting with using light versus no light, portrait versus landscape, focusing in different parts. It's all part of the fun process of shooting macro photography. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you take photos of washing up liquid, go ahead and leave your photos below. But this video really is here to serve a purpose of showing you that you can take creative photos of anything. So whatever you come up with after watching this video, please share your photos below. I'd love to see them. Thanks very much for watching.